So the four Godzilla figures you see in front of you, I have uh, some quality control issues. They're very minor for some of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyways, I guess I need to address them. But first, let's start from right to left. But let's start with this guy. A long time ago, I got this guy from eBay. And I got this guy used. But this is mostly their fault. See? Crack. But then I also made a video where I hair dryed the guy. This guy. And it just created that. Like what I was trying to do was I was trying to like pop it off. And I could like super glue this part. Dang, that's speeding car. But anyways. But now it just created a hole, so I'm probably not going to play with this guy anymore, because it's just going to probably do that. Because the, the bad thing is that this hole and the cut in the lip right there is, they're connected. How I know this is because the hair dryer made the head, like, really soft and squishy. And I could see, like, the crack lines. I can faintly see it right there. But, yeah, that's mostly their fault, so I'm still counting that as a quality control issue. Or mostly, at least, their fault. Here are the Funko Pop Godzilla. Innocent little cuddly guy. Right? Well, yeah, right there is a bit of paint chip. And I remember in the vi review, in the unboxing, there was like a piece of red paint there but i looked look, this way for some reason I, I guess i was just trying to make him do the drop kick but here you can see like there was like the paint chip and it was like disconnecting so i i was just putting the guy on the shelf and then i tripped on something can't remember what it was boom just like bash her into the shelf boom boom i guess it just the force just kind of knocked the paint chip out of it. So yeah, I probably will have to paint that or something. I don't know, it's very minor. 2014 here. Can you spot it? Well, if you did, it, well, if you didn't, I mean, it's the legs. I had them... Sorry, guys. A stupid update thing. It's a dumb no notification for an update just block the entire thing but anyways yeah I had them kind of facing backwards like going backwards more because that that way it's really tight but if I put it regular more regular look what happens see it's loose really loose same goes for this leg. Eh. At least from that, at, at least it in at least it, you get a really lot of range of motion. And when you put it the like up, it's tight still. So I'm probably gonna do that when I do stop motion, or if I ever do stop motion. I don't know. For my stop motion series, no one has requested any battles. So, yeah. That's a slight quality control issue. And this guy is what I call the quality control Zilla. Because this guy has a ton of them. Uh, right here, the head popped off. And then, I guess this is my fault. But this has been happening on a lot of 94 sculpts. So, I guess... Probably mine. But, yeah, the head likes to pop off easily eh, well most of the time I guess right here is the worst one see right here the hinge disconnected and this one has a ton of loose leg joints well at least this leg see look one hand. Watch. When I... Come on, wait. Here, watch. When I tilt the figure, see? It's tilting with it. And this leg... 
or it can it, it kind of does at some angles but that's only because it's more tight so yeah loose and so is the feet seriously did they just give me the one that were like eh go ahead just just here and then it's the one with a ton of quality control issues Yeah, whatever. I'm so grateful. So yeah, these are just some of the quality control issues I had. So tell me in the comments, what kind of fig Godzilla figures do you own? Or any monster figures? Do you guys have any quality control issues? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.